Hey, welcome to Pete's RV TV today. Exciting stuff, the brand new Bighorn fifth wheels by Heartland. Long time Pete's RV Center's been a big leader with the Montana division. Now we have the Heartland Bighorn. This is where Pete's RV Center shines. We saw many, many units, and today we're gonna talk about this Bighorn. We sit up here on the roof, the first thing I wanna point out is the roof holds 3,500 pounds. No other RV in the industry does it. They use a laminated roof system. Not only they have exciting stuff up here, plenty of great stuff inside as well. We're going to talk to Randy, and Randy's going to walk us through this unit, and we're going to show you why the Bighorn should be a unit you should consider. I think everybody knows Randy Murray by now. Randy Murray, you've seen him on YouTube at a lot of our Pizza RV videos here. First thing we talk about, we're in the Bighorn. 3010 is this model here, and you can see from the video here all the cool stuff. We're going to go over it in just a minute, but Randy, tell me, the Bighorn is a full profile fifth wheel. Yes, sir. Uh, this right here is somebody who's, it's not their first fifth wheel without a doubt. It's not. This is going to be the end game for a lot of people or the one after the kids have gone away and started their own families, the one that, uh, you know, you might go down to Florida with. It's a four season camper and it's also a full time living RV and there's not a lot of RVs out there that will say that. So let's start real quickly. We'll get the boring stuff out of the way. How is this built? What's the construction of the Bighorn? Construction is going to be an aluminum cage as we've talked about before. So an aluminum substructure, block styrofoam two inch thick walls on this guy. This guy is again rated for four season and full time living. So better R values on this than you're going to see on most anything else out in the industry today. Um, as you mentioned in the beginning of the video, the laminated roof, that's five inch block styrofoam. Bighorn is one of the only ones in the industry right now using a laminated floor in a high profile as well. So um, great R values, great build. I'm really excited to have the Bighorn here and they've done some great features on this that really brings it up in the rankings. I mean, the first thing I noticed is the size of the, you know, the slides. The height of the slides, absolutely. Yeah, it costs a little bit more money to build that way, but someone expecting that high level um, fifth wheel. Let's go a little bit. We talked about the aluminum studding. We're mm -hmm. using that as opposed to wood. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Wood yep. is going to be heavier. Wood's uh, going to be heavier, uh, not as durable. Uh, we're not going to get the R values with the wood because it's a different insulation. They're using a bad insulation rather than the block styrofoam on these laminated walls. So really goes to the quality of the build for this guy for sure. Yep. Tell me a little bit more here. We've got what type of cabinets are we using in this model here? These are, I, I look at, look at all hidden hinges. That's everything's right. hardwood. They've got what I call the Euro hinges. Uh, that's what we've been calling the cabinetry industry for a while. So everything's hidden up underneath. Um, we do have the door stops. Everything is back screwed. I mean, the quality is better than the quality you're going to see in most homes built today. This guy is built to last. Yep. Tell me a little bit here. We've got things like Corian countertops or a, a solid surface countertop. Got the solid surface countertop. And that and this is the real deal, too. It's not like the one that you see in some of the lightweight trailers out there. I mean, oh, this is right. the good, There's thick no, stuff. It doesn't have the hollow core. You got it. I mean, you can see it right here. That's going to be solid. Undermount stainless steel sink. I mean, just very residential. This is a high quality trailer. It's going to be tough to beat this guy. <laughs> Pulls right out, just like I, I don't even have that at home. <laughs> <laughs> like to brag about. Uh, real quickly, Randy, show me this fridge. I mean, this is why people, when we talk high end travel trailers and fifth wheels, you can't get this in a travel, in a fifth wheel, we can. You can get this in a fifth wheel on certain floor plans. And, and one of the really cool things about this particular floor plan we're in here, the 3010, this is a 34 foot camper. I've been in a lot of 34 foot campers that aren't laid out this well. This feels like a much larger camper. A 12, 12 cubic foot fridge, four door, that's all gas and electric for us. Um, Josh can't see it from where he's standing, but the pantry in this thing is uh, just absolutely out of this world. It's tons of place to put things. Um, fireplace, huge Sony TV, uh, that's a brand name TV as well as a Sony DVD player, surround sound system, just I, I can keep going going. <laughs> yeah, I, it's definitely high end, I can see me sitting in here with family, you know, just spending some time here. I mean, we've got leather furniture. Recliners. Um, these are going to be fold out, I'm guessing here. Absolutely. Um, tell me a little bit more day night shades as well. Day night shades all the way around, um, again. Highest quality stuff. We're not we're not skimping anywhere on the Bighorn. This is gonna this is a high end coach, and this is gonna be full time living. So what we're seeing in this Chad with a full time living coach is we've got a better build, and this stuff can take the use of full time living where a lot of the other stuff out there you can't. Hang on for one second here. I think my phone is ringing. Hello. Hello. I think you're uh, talking on the remote. Shit. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry about. That. We are. We are. <laughs> Randy, tell me a little bit, what is this thing? This is the remote that comes with the Bighorn. Um, so what we do here is we can run the slides in and out with this guy. We can uh, run landing gear with it. We can do the awning with it. We can also turn on a light so when we get out of our car. For those that you can't see that, check this out right here. This is the LCI remote by Lippert. So it kind of looks just like my iPhone. Looks just like an iPhone and it's a touchscreen remote. We can turn a light on if we're getting out of the car with an arm full of groceries. So it's a real neat piece to have. Yeah, there's my iPhone. So we're close here. We're close. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely don't have me pick your kids up at school. Not going to be a good thing. <laughs> 
So <laughs> it just became R-rated. <laughs> yeah. So uh, real quickly, yes, ceiling sir. fans, because we got the full profile. Ceiling fan in this guy. We can move some air around. Uh, you know, just if we we don't need the air conditioner, or the heat on, just a nice way to move some air. LED lighting. Mm -hmm. This is LED lighting. Uh, it gives us a, a lot nicer feel. It's a lower amp draw. It's going to save us power. If we're traveling with this guy and we're doing dry camping, we're going to be able to run more lights and keep our, you know, not have to run a generator or, you know, get somewhere, plug the truck into it to charge those batteries. So I'd like to see that feature as well. So if we go to NASCAR race, we got longer battery life, state parks, absolutely right. national park. National parks, you're absolutely right. Cool things. I mean, we can just go on forever about this stuff. There's tons there. of storage, and you know, do you need this up here? Absolutely not. But this is where I put the, well, I call it the top shelf liquor drawers. <laughs> so, the stuff that you may not need every day. Yep, I think all our viewers call it that. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, Freestanding table, you can do two or four chairs on this. It is. This particular one, we have the option for the leaf in the middle, and we've got yep. two folding chairs up in the closet. A lot of people, there's just two, two people in here. You don't need four chairs, but if you have guests over, you do have that capability. Yep, rocker recliners, these kick out. It's just real comfortable. So we've got a lot of cool things on the inside, which we've seen, the ducted air conditioning. Something unique, Randy, tell me about this. I, I see air conditioning vents on both sides here. Mm -hmm. Is it ducted through the ceiling? It is, it's gonna be ducted, a big wide duck on these guys. And it also, this particular one, we've got the front air conditioner on it as well. So uh, when, you know, when Todd orders these things, he negotiates the deals. If we don't get the deal on the price of the camper, we get the deal on the option. So we, uh, we go in with full, all guns blaring. So I, I, yeah. this thing is not missing anything on yeah. it for sure. A little sidebar for everybody out there. When you're looking at RVs, you've got to be very, very careful about how things are optioned. Um, whether it has the leather furniture, whether it's got the two air conditioners, whether it's dual, dual pane windows. So, on a side 12 note, twelve cubic foot fridge. 12, on a side note, be careful. People think that you may get the best price out there, but it may not be the camper you're looking for. So, just keep that as a note. Here. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, real quick, we're gonna head outside. I'm gonna take these guys up front here. We'll show, talk, them the, show them the bedroom. Show them the bedroom. Show them the bath. Show the shower in there. Makes this camper for me. Okay. You got. I'll catch up with the outside. Sounds great. In the shower area or the bathroom area, of this fifth wheel, all kinds of room too. Residential style, glass doors. I mean, it's pretty cool stuff. Not only do you have solid surface countertops in here, just like our living area. You know, undermount sinks. That's first class all the way around. We've got some arched walls in here. Nice residential sprayer. Just a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Let's head over to the front bedroom. As Randy was telling us before, the bedrooms what sells this trailer. The bathroom area. We saw the bathroom. The bedroom, uh, 34 feet. So they call it a 3010, but 34 feet. Bighorn's been famous for the king size bed. Huge, nice slide out up here. Plenty of room around the bed as well. As you can see, I'm on the front cap side here. We take a look. We've got all kinds of wardrobe space. We've got drawers that pull out. It's hard to catch it from the video, and you may not be able to catch it all. But we've actually got a, a, a hidden safe in here inside the wall with a combination safe. It's not, you know, it's an electronic combination. Safe. Very, very nice, like a hotel. Um, as Randy said before, this is a full timers RV, so it offers those full timers not only conveniences but security of your, you know, your safeguard goods. Um, doors that pull across here has washer dryer prep as well. Check it out right in there. All kinds of storage in there too, if you can catch that. Hot and cold water. Over here on the right, it's gonna be real tight to the camera. We got the Sony TV. Uh, once again, pointing out that name brand items. Um, we have our ducted air conditioning in here on both sides again. This is actually a second air conditioner. We were talking earlier, make sure we measure apples for apples. Because I think if you do, Pizza RV Center's pricing will beat anybody's in the country. And uh, we stock thousand. I mean, if we stock a thousand units or hundreds and hundreds of units on it, uh, that's the only way we can get the prices where we're at. So we're going to catch back up to Randy. He's going to take us out and show us some cool stuff on the outside. This has hydraulic levelers, a lot of cool cutting edge stuff out there as well.